We're here at 8.30 at night, <laughs> middle of the desert. Rainstorm. Jardine! Oh man, soldier boy time again. So our course of fire tonight, we got five targets for our soldier boy, Nick. And he's running through mud, slush, rain. It should be a good one. It's Maybe. been raining hard. It's been raining hard. It our just whole, let up. Yes, the whole trip out here was rough. So, <laughs> yeah, we just got it to stop. Thank goodness. But it's thick, slimy, nasty mud. We're going to be running off to the side in the vegetation where it's not nearly as slick. But, uh, yeah, Nick's got his work cut out for him. This is going to be interesting. We haven't done this one before. That's right. Nick is up there with a headlamp on. He's waiting for the whistle. Yep. Uh, the best, I'm thinking, Jardine, the best disqualifier for guys is time. Absolutely. Because they uh, sign up like two years ago, and then they get a call two years later. Well, what did you find out tonight? So I've, what you find out in the Soldier Boy situation is everything's done at a drop of a hat, including me getting the phone call at 1 p.m. <laughs> hey, we're doing Soldier Boy tonight, 3 o'clock, let's go. So, yeah, short notice. You have to have your stuff squared away. I think Nick looks pretty squared away. I he think does. going to be really impressed i think he's gonna do good uh, his loadout's ready when i called nick he was on top of everything on top of the questions he's a patreon um he keeps up on the channel he said he could he needed 30 minutes to get everything ready to go did you find anybody who wasn't ready uh, actually nick was the first this is the first time i've called one person ever i usually go through a list of 20. nick was the first guy i called and he was ready and they're minutes. disqualified for a bunch of reasons Lots of reasons. Yeah, I can't do it. My stuff's not there. Time. I don't watch the um, channel anymore. I don't watch the channel. Uh, I don't have a gun. I don't have a pistol. Come yeah. on, soldier boy. You signed up for it. <laughs> you don't have a gun or, or a, hand, a handgun or a, a rifle. So Nick is ready to go. I think we're going to be impressed. I think it's going to be good. The course of fire is fun. We have one, one pistol. So if you look over here, one pistol target at about 15 yards. Um, out yonder, we're, we're just at about 200 yards. Uh, it might be further than that. I didn't laser it. it. It's we're assuming. We're guessing. Yeah. It, it, you always set up and you think it's 200 and then you laser it's like three. <laughs> <laughs> Stays on. This way, Nick! This side, right here. Over here. This one, right here. Pistol! Engage! Miss! Miss! Fast as you can, let's go. Still missing. Come on now. Let's go. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, you suck. I do suck. Holy crap. Here's some noise for you to deal with, listen. Man, that's annoying. That is. I probably won't do that too much. Reload, 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 reload. You gonna leave that magazine in the mud and run off? No. Have I heard a hit yet? Not yet. Come on, Nick. Holster the gun, holster the gun. Pick up your magazine, put it in your pocket. Run around that target and come back to this location. Book it. <laughs> We're just having a good time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Try it again, you suck. Shoot that pistol plate. Five rounds. Come on now. It's easy, the internet says this is easy. Piece of cake. Yeah, it does. Internet says this is so easy. There's there a There you hit. go. Good. One more. Shoulder. Nice. Okay, holster up. This way, this way, follow me, let's go. Safe gun, safe gun. Yes, Run around that cone and come back. The easy way to do cardio. Huh? The easy way to do cardio. Yeah. Come on back, come on back. AR-15, I went 10 rounds on that guy. Your choice of position. Hit. Faster! Faster! I like the can. How nice. many is that? Two more. Good. Safe up, run around the cone, come back. Fast! Sorry. 
Didn't you eat your Wheaties? <laughs> Let's go. Right here. Jardine behind me. Gotcha. Right there. Five rounds on that target right there. Pistol. That Evil Roy. Hit it. Pistol. Fast. Er, yep. Hit it. Rifle? Yep. <laughs> reload, 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 reload. Safe it up, safe it up, finger off trigger. Run around that cone, come back. I'm probably gonna take him around this cone after two. Okay. And then we'll have him shoot long, what do you think? Yeah, sounds good, let's do it. All right, let's go, hit that cone too. Right there, hit that cone, run, keep running and come back. Book it, book it, book it, book it. Right here. I want you standing, engage that target on the right. Standing. Good luck. Hit. I don't think so, you'll hear it twice. That's a dirt hit. Four more rounds, Nick, on that one. Standing. How hard is it right now for standing? Hard. All right, give me a couple more and then we're gonna let you get some more stability, okay? What power's your scope on? Not enough. <sighs> All right, shape your gun up. Go hit that cone, run around it and come back, book it. So I'm gonna have him try some more on that one. Okay. And then what do you think, paper? Yeah, okay. yeah, let's go with paper. Right back to where you were. Safe direction with your weapon. Finger off trigger. Now, any position you want, do the same thing. I want 10 rounds on that long target to the right. Any position you want. Let's go, let's go, time's burning. Here, I'll take this, I'll go from the side. Okay. You got that. Okay, got it. Nick and Soldier Boy, Rock River with a suppressor. Miss. Oh man, a little bit tough. Let's go, time's burning. Internet tells me this is easy. It's only a couple hundred yards, right Mike? That's right. There's a hit. That's a hit. Nice hit. Hit. There's two. Are you counting? Okay, safe up your gun. Go around that far cone, run and come back. This way, Nick, Nick, this side. Right here, buddy. That cone over there and come back. Finger off trigger, finger off trigger. You want five or 10? What's that? Do you want 10 shots? Yeah. Okay, I'll count them off. Okay, I haven't been keeping track too good. This side, this side, this side. Which side? Right here, you're gonna be right back where you were. Okay. See that target to the left? Yeah. That is paper. You're yeah. gonna do your best and show us what you can do accuracy on paper, any position you want. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. You don't need your headlamp. Turn it off. Just getting, creating reflections for you. Any position you want, maximum accuracy. I want 10 shots on that paper. All right, pivot, give him five shots on that far target to the right now. No, this one, Nick, same one you were shooting same at. One? No, 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 this one, right here. Oh, to the right? Yeah, buddy. Any position you want. Soldier boy! There's a hit.
That was a hit too. There's a hit. All right, safe it up. Run to that cone and back. Hustle. Let's go. Did he get all his he mags? Him. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Ten shots. Yep. Any position. Fast as you can. The only thing we want you to do different this time is actually hit the target. <laughs> Suck less. Yeah. That's close. That's easy. Stand up. Do the same thing. Shoot. We got four more. Transition right, right target, any position. Left target. Right target. Right target. Oh man. You see it? There you go, get stable. So where we're at right now, we're probably inside. Tear it up, this guy's putting rounds on you. Let's go. I just dialed down your magnification. There you go. 10 shots. Let's make some noise. There's there a go. hit. How many more? Got three more. Reload, reload, reload. We'll call that target good. Stand up. Stand up. Pivot all the way behind you. Hit that target behind you. No, right there. Left side. This one right Left here. Side. Fast as you can. Ten rounds. Ready? On my mark, you're going to shoot as fast as you can and hit as much as you can on the whistle. Ready? Safe it. Round's over. Oh, man. That what do you think, tough. buddy? Glasses fogging, <laughs> scopes fogging, lights in my eyes. That's Magazines fun, though. In the dirt. So, fun. looking back on this, I know we're in the mud. On your long shots after running all the cardio, getting your heart rate up, and then trying to hit these long shots, what are you, what are you experiencing? <sighs> In the nighttime, it's tough. I think in the daytime, I, I would hope I'd do a lot better. Even even with illuminated targets. Yeah, it's even. Still, it's still hard to see. If I scope. had an illuminated scope, that would make a lot of difference, I think. Because it's trying to find my crosshairs in a foggy, wet uh, scope. That's what's hard. Now, do you think going back there, not considering the mud and everything else, but if you were going prone, would you, if you were going to do this a second round, would you go prone to try and hit these long shots? Would yeah, I thought about going prone. Uh -huh. I just felt more comfortable just, just yeah. from the kneeling. I didn't know if I could get a good cheek rest if I went prone. Here's another thing to think about and tell us what your experience is here. You have an AR-15 with a suppressor, 18-inch barrel, correct? Yeah. So you have a lot of, you know, you're running, you have a little bit more weight on the front. Do you notice that when you're oh, yeah. holding up and getting ready to shoot? Yeah, I think if I had a 16-inch lightweight barrel, I could keep it on target a lot easier because I wouldn't Definitely. be fatiguing me so much another thing to think about is now normally we have long shots right we have 400 we try to get a three or four he's short tonight usually we push him out Pretty to 400 short. so tonight is a situation where maybe the red dot is actually beneficial yeah for steel i would want to do it on paper no 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 not on paper but like on targets like this where we're maybe 200 yards and in in the dark yeah a red lightweight dot. a red dot may be a, a better option in this situation but probably help a lot now, if you go back to past episode of Soldier Boy, one of our biggest recommendations for the drills we do out here, which I kind of think plays in a lot of tactical situations, is an right. illuminated scope, like you said. Right. And uh, I would go, I think with what we have out here tonight, a one to eight power is ideal with illumination. What are you running? 
Uh, three to 12. Three to 12 will work yeah, too. But you yeah. said you're hunting for that reticle. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to find it in the dark, especially with, like I said, a wet scope and a fog scope and fog glasses. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost impossible to find, find my crosshairs. It's rough. Fingers. You did a good job though. I noticed you were adjusting magnification. Yeah, a lot trying of to. Stages. That, that, was, that was good. A lot of times when you get going and you get the heart rate up and you're trying to hurry and you're yelling at people, you forget that your magnification might be a six power. Yeah, I, trying to I should have yelled more. I was kind of quiet. Yeah, you went on easy on me. I took you. I took it easy. I just don't. It's kind of obnoxious for the audience. It was hurry up, let's go. That's so cool. you got off easy. Yeah. We'll do another round. Uh, um, and so one thing I noticed when you shot on yeah. your is watch your foot stance. I saw you kind of doing this. Yeah. When when you come out on this next round, so this is the instructional round. Okay. Not that we're the experts. No. <laughs> we're, not. we're not. But we shoot a lot out here. We have our own ways of hitting the targets. Sure. That's it. Yeah. So watch your stance and when you come in, don't do this. I want you to really get in a really comfortable stance. You were squared up to pistol. Yeah. Kind of crank it around like this. Okay. Just a little bit of an angle. Okay. So pistol, what I want you to do is when you run, control breathing. Okay. So you're and when you guys run too, remember one of the lessons of Soldier Boy is don't sprint, nice easy jog. Yeah. And really oxygenate when you do it. And they get in position, take a cleansing breath. Okay. That'll dump some stress. So before you even shoot, just kind of take a second, then draw. And now you're going to draw fast, get on target, and then really concentrate on that trigger. Yeah. One reason you were missing is you're jerking your trigger. Oh, okay. You're a crack, 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 crack. And before we have you start another run, I'm going to have you go to that pistol stage, dry fire, watch your front sight. Okay. And your front sight should stay right on there if you're doing a tr good trigger pull. Okay. And if you have to slow it down, then slow it down. The only way I would ever advocate, and again, this is just us, of shooting quickly is covering fire when you don't care if you're hitting. Right. Like one guy's going from point A to point B, you want to put heads down, ka 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 right. I don't care then. But if I'm shooting to kill, Breathing, okay. create, uh, I, I should say a calm is what we've always called it. Right. Create your calm. There's that wind picking up. So, and one thing when you hold that AR, when we give you a standing position again, you got a VG on it. Right. Really pull that stock back in. Okay. Because you, you were holding right here with that 18 inch barrel, the upside to that, it is more weight. You got a can on it, but either rope grip it, pull it in, or get that VG and pull it in tight. Well, I was I was up here. I wasn't. I wasn't down here. Okay. So if we're going to have a VG on our gun, it's got to serve a purpose. Right. If it's not working on a night tonight, we need to get get it the hell off the gun because okay. it's extra weight. It's more complexity. So use your VG or rope grip it. Whatever. How tall are you? Five five eight. This looks like it's too far forward to you. Go okay. ahead and put the gun up. Is your butt stock adjusted properly for you? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's not too far. Not too. Not too close. Uh, maybe go it looks up. like it's too far for you. And does your eye box and your scope accept that adjustment? Yeah. Okay, now go ahead and put it up. Pull on this, not hard, but snug it in, and now trap it like that. Does that help stability at all? Yeah. Now you're going to apply the same principles. You're going to have really good breath control. You're going to have really good trigger control. So we don't want this while we're shooting. We're going to go walk it in, however you do it. Slow trigger press. Crack. 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 Okay. Shoot standing is hard with your yeah. cardio up. Yeah, it is hard. And then when you go down, like Jardine said, dump it in the mud. Don't be afraid. You're going to get dirty tonight. Freaking dump it. Try pro. Yeah. Maybe the terrain is good. You don't know until you try it. Yeah. Dump it, spray it out. Go ahead and get in there and, and get that ground. Get your elbows down because I know you're shooting off your knee. Yeah. That's okay. But it's a lot of this. Right. And we'll go down and look at paper la later. Okay. Just a couple things to think about. Breath control, trigger control, create calm, Stand. get that stability. Both. I thought your grip on your pistol looked good. It looked good, but just trigger control. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, double fist. Good job, good job. Nice job, Nick. Thank you. You bet. Did you have fun on that first Not that run? we're the experts. Yeah, we really fun. don't know what the hell we're talking about. No. It was fun. I just really lack in pistol. I need to do a lot more training on my pistol. And I don't like shooting pistols that much, so.
Well, my, let's walk over to that spot. pistol right now. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying it's my weak spot. Okay. Sure. Um, now, you have, you're shooting an M Smith & Wesson M&P, aren't you? Uh, uh, Rock River. Oh, my, your oh, pistol. my pistol, yeah. Okay, let me see that for a second. And I've talked about this in my reviews. Okay. Okay, so the thing about an M&P that I, I've talked about in my tabletops that I don't really dig is it has an articulated trigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice when I pull it, we're gonna get two different trigger pulls. We're gonna come right here and then it kind of crunches and it's its own animal. Right. When I go from a Glock, a VP9, uh, a PPQ back to this, I miss a lot because I forget that. What you should do next time is you come up on target, you got your grip, which I'm not showing here so that people can see. Right. Stage that trigger like that. Okay. And then here, that last part is where we're gonna concentrate on our pull. So we're gonna stage quick, boom. Okay. And you can practice this at the house, learning this. This is a great pistol. Right. You just gotta know how to shoot it with that articulated trigger blade. And it's plastic, so see the flex in it? Yeah. See that flex? Yep. So it's not a metal trigger. And so what we're gonna do is stage it when we're shooting a game. This is a game tonight we're shooting. So we're just kind of shooting a competition. Now, a cop wouldn't do that. A cop's gonna stay out here. He's not gonna stage a trigger like that. No. No, but if you know that all your unlock codes are going and you gotta crank rounds, this is what it looked like in real time. So it okay. happens quick, but I'm coming right here, clack, clack, clack. That only comes with a lot of training, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna reload this for you. Do you need time to top your mags? Yeah, I should probably go top them. Okay, so here it comes. That's loaded, it's condition one, you're gone. Yeah. Just what I see, I thought it was a good run. Um, obviously running and getting your heart rate up is a new experience for a lot of people. Most people don't have access to this kind of stuff. So I thought you did really well. I think this next time around, um, just focusing on controlling your breathing and maybe some shooting positions, I think I think it'll be even better. So, okay. Sounds now, good. did you ever see the Soldier Boys where we use the shooting sticks? No. I think we might want to equip them with some shooting sticks. What do you think? If you have a pair, which I'm sure you do, shooting sticks will make a huge Well, yes, I do, and I also it'll, have shooting sticks. It'll make a huge, huge... <laughs> <laughs> when I say huge, I mean small <laughs> difference. It'll make, it'll make a big difference. It'll be, shooting sticks will help you a lot. Yeah. To give you a stable, a stable foundation, and you'll notice on these longer shots, you'll nail them. Now, some people on the internet are not fans of shooting sticks because they don't shoot on our terrain. Right. Because like you said, you can go prone and then you have two hills between you and the target. Now what are you going to do? Right. You can't use prone, but shooting sticks you can use. And right. I, I think I've pointed out in the past, prone out here in the desert doesn't always work. We have sage, we have tall grass, there's a lot of things. But obviously, we're late in the year, it's wet, we're in a flat, flat area with a lot of dirt where the, where the targets are set up. There's, there's times you can use that position. And tonight, where we're set up at, I think is ideal. I think you have a clear line of sight out of that target. So you can do prone. But if you have shooting sticks, you eliminate the need for that. And you get just about the same stability get, as prone. You get great stability. We're going to teach how to use them. Don't expect to be a pro. Okay. On the shooting sticks. So we'll, we'll go back to the trucks. You're going to reload. We'll break out the sticks. This is your instructional run. Is that right, Jardine? That's right. That's correct. Okay. Shoot, Soldier Boy, nothing fancy project. Temperature drop and wind's kicking up. Yep. Thanks for watching. Let's get to it. Good job, man. Hit. Hit. A little bit wet. Not too bad in the dark 200 yards after running say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits out of 10. Not bad. <laughs> Here comes Nate, this is the instructional run. He's got a Caltech RDB latest generation. Awesome. With illuminated scope. It's a Strike Eagle one to six, I believe. This side right here. Right here. Pistol, I'll take your gun. We don't have a strap on it, so we're just gonna hold it for him. All right, remember what we talked about. Good stance, yeah, like that. Don't shoot yet. Look at your front sight. 
Now slowly squeeze the trigger. Like nice. that. Good, that's a hit. Aim a little bit to the right of the uh, right side of the plate. There you go. That's a hit. Okay, holster up. Breathe, cleansing breath. Whew, shake it out. Get all the tension out of your body. Get a good stance, look at the trigger. Crank your body a little bit to the right, like that. Now draw fast and wait. Now look at your front side, slow, slow press. Good, that's nice. a hit. Okay, that's another hit. Holster up again. Let's do that again. Breathe out, shake out the stress, get your feet right. Look at the target, look at the target, visualize the, right, the front side. Ready, draw. Get ready, front side, slow press. Good, good, holster up. Do that whole thing again. Look at your target when you're reloading. Don't take your eyes off it, ever. Relax, shake it out, breathe. Just relax. Get ready to draw. Shooter ready, go. Good. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Nice. Much better. All hits. Holster up. Shake it out. Get ready at the whistle. At the whistle, you'll finish that magazine. Get, look at your feet. Make sure your feet are where you want them. That's a hit. Hit. Miss. Hit. Hit. Nice. Nice job. Okay, much better. Much better. Go ahead and load that and then put it in your holster. I'm gonna have you shoot another pistol. Stay right there, Nate. Make sure that's on safe. It is Caltech RDB. We're gonna have him shoot a model 92. Okay, Nate, this is already loaded. This is a M9 Model 92. Okay. So it's already loaded. Okay. You drop the hammer like that. Your first shot's gonna be double action, okay? Okay. So we're gonna push our safety forward, and after that's gonna be a nice, slow, and really nice trigger on this, okay? Okay. It'll shoot point of aim. Go and give it a try. So shake it out, relax. Slow press, that's a jerk. There you go. Okay, drop that hammer, push that safety down with, okay, that'll work. Now push it forward again so you're ready to fire. With your right hand. I want this thumb doing it, not that one, this okay. one. Push it forward. Now you're ready to shoot. Now come down and relax, just low ready. Breathe out, relax. Now when you come up, you're gonna give me three shots. Same rules apply. Don't hurry the shots, watch your front sight, don't jerk the trigger. Shoot ready, at the whistle, three shots. Good. Good. Nice. Keep going. Hit. Good. Okay, shooter, stop just for a sec. Don't cross these thumbs. So try to make them. Do they cross? Uh, how? What size glove do you wear? Medium. Okay, got, maybe that's I got why. Small hands. Okay, yeah, that's a big <laughs> pistol grip. That's why. Okay, you're fine. Keep going. Good. Nice. The magic of the M9. Awesome gun. Oh man, that was almost all hits. Good job, dude. Thank really you. good job. Dude, do it again. It, by 10, we're out of here. What time is it? Show me the watch. What's that? Okay. It wasn't recording. We want to be out of here by 10. By the way, guys, this is a an Ocean Knot Naval. Waterproof. I put uh, this blue and white NATO strap on it. It's really windy. Hopefully, you can hear me. Really cool watch. I'll tabletop it separately. It makes me happy tonight. Hey, Nate, what do you think about this weather? 
Pretty dang cold. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not easy to shoot in, the, in these elements. Your first run was pretty cake compared to the, what you got now. Yeah. Hey, look at Nate's knife, dude. What is this? Is that a, uh, an Essie? Yeah, Essie. Nice. Good choice. Look at my other one. Nice, look at that. Oh, sweet. Nice. That's a TMP it Special is. Edition Lightning. Awesome. Not engraved by nothing fancy yet. I'm gonna take it from you right now and I'll get it back to you, I'll engrave it. <laughs> awesome. Look, it even works in the desert when it's windy and rainy. Yep. What's not to like? All right, remember what we talked about. Concentration. I really think pistol shooting is about concentration. Yeah. If you got really good concentration, you can control your breathing, you control your trigger. Shooter ready. Ready. Well, I wish we had is like dirt, dirt, so we could see where the hits are going. That'd be nice. We don't have that. Nope. Good job. There it is. Yep. All right. Rounds complete. Little pistol action for you. Yeah, Practice. That was fun. I like it. Ready, go. So hopefully you can hear. So the wind is like shredding right now. It's what, 20 miles an hour? At least. Probably about 20 miles an hour. At least. He's gonna be shooting the RGB. We're gonna run him a little bit less right now. Stand up and hit that target right where you're at. I'm gonna try to block the, the wind for you a little bit. Make sure everything's right. You got your, there you go, good sense. Pull that into your shoulder, tight. Yeah! Okay, come down over here. Drop down to the ground, good stability. Your back go prone, hit the dirt. Finger off trigger, just hit the dirt, flat. Spread these out. Turn those flat. There you go, try that. Get down low, got it. Slow press, same, same rules apply. There you go. Good. Keep doing that. Excellent. Stow that mag. Reload. Stand up. We're gonna run. Okay. I'm gonna get the shooting sticks. You got that. Got it. Got it. position. 10 rounds as fast as you can. If you want that illumination dialed up, do it now. Good. Slow down. There it is. Excellent. Stand. Same thing. Hit it. Pull that into your shoulder pocket. 
breathe out, create calm. Take one second, chill. Pull it into your shoulder pocket, slow squeeze. It's hard with that wind, isn't it? Yeah. That wind's pushing them all Ooh. over the place. Maybe concentrate, shoot to the right a little bit to compensate for the wind. There you go. Okay, safe it up. Go to the cone, come back. That paper blew down, so that's oh, yeah. no longer a player. Nope. You can still see that though, can't you? That's metal out there? Yeah, yep. Okay, see that? Let's see if you can hit it. See this one. All right, see the metal out here? Yeah. You can try for that. Standing? No. Sticks? Sticks. Go ahead and put your butt in the dirt. Put these down. Then we're gonna adjust this and really jam them in, okay? So we're gonna get it in the dirt. It's not great dirt. That's a tough shot right there. It is. I can't even With find the wind the doing what it's doing. How's your illumination, okay? Yeah, it's good. If you ever lose it, come out of the glass and just aim through the top of the tube towards the target. That's, you're not aiming at it. It's over here, the, the flashlight went real dim. Just keep it on six power. All right, I see it. Let me help you out. You're on one power. Okay, do you see it out there? Yeah. Okay, slow yeah, press. I'll take you to night mode. Man, I can't pick it up. There you go. Okay. There it is. Can you see the top of no? Yeah. Okay. Battery's gonna die. What? Battery's gone. Okay. There's Hit! A That's a hard shot. That's a tough shot. Okay, we'll give him one more on this. One more time, Nate. Or Nick at night. <laughs> okay, pivot. Pivot on your butt. Use the sticks. Hit that guy on the left. Over here? Yes. Move those sticks. Square them up perpendicular to the target. Jam them into the mud. Hard. Get them to a position that's comfortable for you. If they're not too high, then dig them in further. There you go. Killing it. Good. What do you think about the conditions now? That's getting cold. My hands are starting to get numb. My fingers are numbing up. Yeah, it's rough. This is not easy. Okay, stop for a sec. How do you like the shooting sticks? Yeah, it's a lot better. It works good. Yeah, I like them. Okay, now I want you to take the sticks up, fold them straight, stand up. This is how you're gonna transport these between stages. Like that. Okay. It works, right? Yeah. It works. So, run there and back and then set up again. Good. I gotta get another battery, I guess. And we're getting snow. Yeah, we are. Snowing. Look at that. Safe direction, that muzzle. Good job. Okay. Oh, that that battery down there just died to the behind us right here. Oh. Okay. It's dead. Okay. Uh, 
This'll test the scope, don't you think? Yeah. Shoot, yeah. I want to turn your illumination up a little bit. Try that. Now, if that's getting in the way for the short shot, ditch it and just go prone or whichever position. Nice. Stand by. I gotta clean that lens. So when you got safe direction, we're gonna have the action open, charge it. Okay. Turn it upside down. G G G. Okay. Here, let me block the wind for you. Yep, yep. Lens clean. Let me check your lens. I mean, does this hold? It's good. It looks okay here. Uh, I would think about six. 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 So yep. this is a Winchester XXP, can't speak, SXP 20 gauge. Okay. It is blowing hard. Yes, it is. All right, T go for it. Tear it up. All hits. Shotgun and soldier nice. boy. Nice. Load her up. Here, stay there, I'll bring the ammo to you. There you go. I think that's it. Nice. Those rounds go quick, don't they? Yeah, they do. Shotguns are fun. How's that thing to shoot a pussy cat, huh? Oh yeah. 20 gauge? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, this is bird shot. We didn't have buck tonight, but even I think buck would be manageable. Okay, you're just gonna do low ready, two shots, and then low ready, do it all over again. Okay. At the whistle shooter, tell me when you're ready. Ready. Two shots. Low ready. Low ready means come down further. Now, what I do too, uh, Nick, is I keep this, yeah, like that. Then all you're doing is pivoting okay. up like that, right? Yeah. So and you don't have to reacquire. No. Shooter ready? Ready. Ready? That's it. It's a fun drill, huh? Yeah. It's hard loading these when your fingers are numb. Yeah, it is. And you need gloves out here, don't you? Yeah, you do. There you go. Just keep your mouth. Get that on your shoulder. Get ready. Shoot ready. Ready. Low ready, shooter ready. Ready. Good job. Shooter ready. Ready. I think we found his gun. Yeah, he's good with the shotgun. Thinking he hasn't missed once. Shooter ready. Out. At your leisure, hit it. I'll take that, transition pistol. There you go, way to go. Calm down. Shooter ready. Ready. Three shots. Hit. That first one was a hit too. Shooter ready. Ready.
Low ready. All right, let's interview our shooter here for a second. Kind of crazy, huh? Oh yeah. Things happening fast? <laughs> yeah. Weather changes fast too. It's good and then it's bad and then it's good again. Now it's real bad. So the weather on your first run was awesome compared to now, right? Yeah. And that was what, half hour ago? Yeah. Look how it changes. Yep. Uh, let's give the guys a little gear report of how everything's doing. Really good. How's this scope treating you? It's, I really like it. It's the Strike Eagle Vortex. Yeah, one um, to six, right? Yeah. So here we are in the cold rain, it's turning into snow and it's not failing as yet, right? Nope, not yet. Okay. It's hard to know what power I'm on though. That's my only issue is it. It'd be nice if they had like an indicator facing the shooter in yeah. big letters, right? That yeah. you could see. It's just this little tiny dot right there. And when I'm shooting, I, I guess I just not experienced with this scope though, so. I think you're doing good with it. Yeah. Oh, dude, did you hear that? It's a coyote. <laughs> It's a nasty coyote. They're out here all the time. <laughs> How's the RGB treating you? It's nice, I really like it. Yeah, it's shooting good, huh? It's really short, compact. Uh, it's a little different doing my reloads and everything like that. Right. Just the manual of arms is a lot different than an AR. That stage where you had a 20 mile an hour crosswind, that was an ass kicker. Yeah. And you actually hit the steel a couple times with it. Yeah. That's, just that's rough, to... and I didn't get a chance to laze it. I'm gonna ballpark, it's like 250. Yeah. 250. Yeah. Okay, yeah, trigger works for you on it? Yeah, it's a good trigger. Okay, cool. All right, well, you're doing great. Way to hang in there, dude. Appreciate Thanks. it. It's fun. Uh, at your leisure shooter, we want, uh, I don't know, we'll just tell you when to stop. Start shooting standing. Shoot ready at the whistle. Ready. Nice. That's standing in a crosswind. Really good. Woo! Nice shooting. Yeah, bud. We have to shoot pretty much this direction because if we face the camera into the wind, it's gonna get packed with uh, water and snow. We can't do it anymore. Our paper target blew down. All right, shooter, stop. Pivot to the back. Shoot that Evil Roy right there. Hit it. Here, I'm going to turn my light down so it doesn't distract you. There we go. That better? Yeah. How are you missing that one and you hit this other one? I don't know. Oh, I know, that's a smaller target. <laughs> that's an Evil Roy versus a Mini Ipsic. It's harder to hit. It's harder to find in the scope too. Yep. There it is. Okay, slow down, you're rushing it too much. There you go. Neil. Soldier boy! Jardine said when the weather got bad, he thought a call would be forthcoming. <laughs> he was right. There's a hit. Okay, pivot, hit that one you've been doing good on. This one right here. No, this one right here. Right there you here? go. Your choice of position. He's all over that one. He's got it. Banging! Woo! Nice job. All right. Yeah, it's a nice gun. Would you buy it? No. How come? Uh, the just the manual of arms is too much, too different from an AR. Right. Right. And right. I hear you. It's a little bit heavy too, isn't it? Yeah. Look it's at a the heavy. weight. So I wrote it on here. It's eight pounds seven ounces with scope and no magazine. The only the only way to know you're out of ammo in your mag is 
the sound a difference. Yep. Because otherwise you can't look at your... Can you look at a, your chamber and know that you're out? No. Yeah. It's all occluded. Yeah, you have to know by the sound of the gun. So, um, I, I like shooting it. It's nice Yeah, it's fun small. to shoot. The short overall length, it works really good with a suppressor, so you don't have a really long weapon. Yeah. It is its own creature. It has some quirks that I don't particularly care for. I'd rather just have an AR pistol if I'm going to have something this short. Yeah, that's true. But that's a good point. That's just And those neat. AR pistols are so insane. Yeah. They work great. Yeah. We're an SBR if you want to do that too, but... Pistol it is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have an I, AR pistol? I don't. But you if I were going to go, if I were going to go short barrel, that's what I would do. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I agree with Nick. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the bullpup design. Mostly because I mean, it's just it's just different. You know, you like what you like, or you have something you're used to. Also, it's on ARs. Yeah. They're much simpler for us to use. This takes a, a little bit of getting used to and some training. So. <clears throat> I would assume this is a lot like the Tavor, right? What? I would assume this is a lot like the Tavor. Uh, um, I've never shot this. The Tavor is its own creature. It really is. Oh, really? It really is. Yeah, I like the Tavor better than I do the RDB. Yeah. Uh, the Tavor is just really smooth shooting. Once you put a, an aftermarket trigger in it, like you put a trigger pack from Timney in it, that thing is awesome. It's heavy, though. Yeah. Uh, I think the Tavor is just its own thing. I love it, love it. So it's basically a blizzard right now. The batteries on my Sony camera totally died. So this is a GoPro backup. We basically had to call the shoot. It, I mean, it's, it's insane right now. So come over here dudes where you're like sheltered in the wind and we'll do a, a little debrief. This is Nick at night, the TMP here. How's it going? First up, thanks for showing up. Thanks for inviting me. You bet. I mean, that was short notice, right, Jardine? Short. Short, short notice. Thanks to you, too. I mean, Jardine's so solid. Yeah, no problem. Dude, I appreciate it. And, and I wasn't, like, married to the idea of doing Soldier Boy tonight, but as Jardine says, when the weather gets bad, my mind starts a rolling. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to get tapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, short notice. Um, we had a little crummy weather earlier today, and then when we got out here, it was rain and mud. Rain stopped, we had wind, wind turned to sleet, and now we got a blizzard. So, here you go. Yeah. So, is it fair to say there's some lessons out here to oh, be yeah. had? Yep, it's a different world out here when you're in the elements and and uh, trying to stay straight, and shoot straight, it's tough, it's hard. So we've talked a lot about equipment and you know, a lot of times as a reviewer, it's easy to gravitate towards equipment, like, you know, what's what works, what yeah. doesn't. But I would really like to focus on today's Soldier Boy to be on uh, the human factors part of it. Yeah. So when we talked about a little bit on the instructional run, concentration, breath control, trigger control, I I'm gonna kind of underline concentration because it's really easy to be distracted out yeah, here. Absolutely. You're uncomfortable, you're wet, your hands are freaking freezing. And uh, if you want to get shots on target, you just gotta work past all that. Yeah, you gotta create calm. And once you start hitting, or at least, once I start hitting, I get excited and I shoot faster and then I start missing. So you just gotta keep that in your head and make sure you stay calm and focused. And it's tough out here in the, in the snow and sleet. Yeah, look, this is the inside the Titan window. Look, there's snow after, <laughs> coagulating. After two minutes. <laughs> that's, that's just. Yeah, and we're on the downwind cool. side. Yeah, yeah. If we were on the upwind side, I couldn't film this. No. The, the camera it's, just get coated in snow. Yeah, yeah, it's a blizzard. It's cold. I, honestly, this is like. I don't want to use the word dangerous, but if you're not prepared out, I and mean, you could get hyperthermic in this Quick. easy, oh, don't easy. you think, Nick? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's fun to come out here though and do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you made it. Uh, we now we ran the Soldier Boy a little bit different. We didn't run you quite as much because it's so freaking muddy, muddy out here. Muddy and slick. Yeah. And we don't want you to get hurt or. I mean, we kind of had to modify things. Yeah. But we got some sheep in. It was fun. But, oh, yeah. Go ahead. You know, every time we come out here, we've been presented with different circumstances and different um, different problems with weather, temperature. There's a lot of things we've had: snow, wind. Um, I think tonight is actually the worst weather because we've had so much different yeah right uh, stuff hitting us tonight that it's really been a, 
a unique problem to have to work through. So the shorter course, the, the different course we ran, I, I think was just as difficult as anything else we've done based on the conditions. Yeah, well said. Yeah. I asked Jardine, I was like, so you want to shoot the RDB? And he goes, he's like, nah, I'm good. I can't feel my hands. Yeah, totally <laughs> I can't feel my hands. That says it all. Yep. It was yeah. fun. Uh, just a couple hours ago, I was sitting on my couch watching YouTube. <laughs> I get a call from Jardine. I'm babysitting my two kids. And I'm like, oh my gosh, right now, <laughs> what am I going to do with my kids? So I called my mother-in-law, and she was good enough to watch them for me. And my wife had previous plans, so. Well, you get a gold star, bro. Yeah, it's been, awesome. it's been fun. So I'm going to engrave your lightning for you. I'll give you some other TMP gifts. And then uh, Jardy and I were talking. I think we're going to do like um, like a, a alumni of Soldier Boy dinner. Yeah. And then we'll just sit around and chat. We'll talk about guns. We'll fill in some of it. We'll throw it on Patreon for sure. I don't know if it makes it to the main channel. You know, we got a pretty good group already. I mean, yeah, we I do. I think we've done seven, six, seven Soldier Boys. So we've got yeah. a lot of really good guys that have done it. It would be awesome to sit down and have a dinner and chat. talk about guns and gear and experiences. It'd be fun. Yeah. And if, uh, I mean, if this is well received, we'll do it again. Yeah. You know, it, I, Jardine and I do this every so often. It's probably been about two years now. Yeah, yeah, it's, two it's been years a long two. time. Yep. Almost two years, and so we'll see how it goes. It definitely goes on Patreon. Yeah, definitely. Well, so. every time I run into Nut Fancy, I beg him to do another Soldier Boy, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> now he's rethinking that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at how different he is, though, because we've remember we knocked on that one dude's door, and he 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 just said basically nah i can't do it i'm too busy drinking eggnog why'd they put in for it then if they don't want to do it well i think in concept they do but when they see a night like this uh, and, and dude when you got the call you saw the weather it was bad yeah it's not so good. that's why we're saying kudos to you and you just said whatever i'm in yep. and so i don't think a lot of guys are like that it's one thing to talk to talk but to come out and walk the walk totally and we've had we've had several people who've shown up door to door that the first right the first one or two sorry times. yeah and then we resorted to just phone calls and phone calls the same thing uh some of the people i would contact and be like dude you're going out tonight have you seen the weather yeah <laughs> uh, that's what we do this is what we do this is what you've got to be prepared for so very short notice again nick nick did it on about a two hour to our window from the time we got to hold them till we got out and met yeah i was throwing was my kids short. in the truck and throwing my gear in the truck and trying to get out the door and it was i'm glad i came though it's been fun awesome so we may shoot with nick again awesome yeah Great. so these these this i love can do personalities i just yeah. you're that way Jardine. Jardine's the same way. I'll call Jardine. Well, here he is. They're like, he had stuff going on. I was like, and I would have given you more heads up, but I just don't know. Yeah. I don't know because I had some other obligations that fell through and I was like, ah, and then I saw the weather. It, it, to me, it's more interesting coming out in this stuff versus a beautiful summer afternoon. Yeah. I mean, you can learn stuff in anything. And summer afternoon when it's 100 degrees, that's its own challenge for sure. But this is something altogether different. Yeah. Yeah. And so, Again, Jardine Art and I don't come to this and say, oh, we're the end all experts of shooting. We always say that. Totally. Just a couple techniques to help. And uh, did that help on pistol at all, what we oh, talked yeah. about? Yeah. It seemed like I started hitting once you walked me through on how to do it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, pistol, like I said, pistol is my, my weak link. Uh, not that I'm the best at rifle or anything, but I definitely struggle with the pistol shooting. And your uh, uh, little training helped me a lot. Just a little something. Uh, dry fire practice is really huge. Trigger control, you can do that in your house or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Jardine went down, checked your paper, and you actually had a lot of hits on there, he said. I think it was eight, eight or nine out of ten. So, good. good job. How so, many yards was that paper? Uh, I never got a chance to laze it, but I'm going to no, guess about 250. Plus, yeah. 250. It's further yeah. than 200. It was about 250, yeah, was would be my shot. guess. Yeah. And it's so funny, I mean, before we wrap it up here, almost done, is it's hard to understand on if you guys are watching how difficult the logistics are here uh -huh. everything is nightmares like the batteries in my camera died like way quicker than i thought and they were fully charged yeah. glasses are fogging up S if you slipping everywhere you step yeah the um, snow on the lens now you got to go all the way back to the yeah. truck get a special lens cleaner yeah. you're <laughs> caking <laughs> snow everywhere <laughs> uh what would you change about your system anything um let's yeah, go with the ar-15 what are you happy with your scope after tonight no i mean i like my scope it's a good like hunting scope 
but for doing things at night, uh, almost impossible because in real life you're not going to have an illuminated target. Yeah. So it, if I had an illuminated illuminated reticle, it would help a lot. Yeah, and I I can totally get by usually without an illuminated reticle, but I'll tell you what, it only costs a few bucks more to get yeah. one, and it's always there if you need it. Yeah. Totally. And totally then if you have to do a low light shot for whatever reason, eh, you got it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't sell your pistol. I think your M&P is just fine. It's a great pistol. Yeah. You need to practice with the trigger a little, but your AR ran 100%. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any problems at all with it. Yep. Same with your M&P. Um, one, one thing I was doing a lot was I have so much crap on my belt that I was when I was running, it was falling down, and I had to stop and tighten my belt up. So making sure your gear is set and ready is important too so you're not running and trying to pull your pants up okay and for anybody watching that's a great point uh go and i'll put a link below i wear dickie's suspenders yeah, i was kind of dicky suspenders and i wear them on my tactical belt and they go under my shirt yeah that's and, a good idea and then like if you opt in for a belt tonight yeah. put suspenders on them yeah yeah. Uh, some now thing. some of these tack vests will have suspender loops on them. This is actually your old, ta your old tack vest. Yeah, I ha I had one just like that. Oh, I bought this one from you. Did you? That PFI dude. I thought that looked familiar. Uh, That's a Condor. Condor, yeah. Yeah. PFI dude. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Oh, dude, you've been Gun around shop. a while. I've been watching you since 2010. I didn't know you went back that far. Yeah. Yep. Well, I. That's awesome. Crazy. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so funny because I'm looking at that. I was like, I think I had one just yeah, like it. You put this on there. I think I still have your tag on it. it was <laughs> Sixty bucks with all the, all the mag pouches and everything. Oh, dude, what a you deal! Got off. <laughs> you got ripped off. <laughs> How did it work for you tonight? Well, when you don't have four hundred bucks to go spend on a tack vest, yeah, sixty buses. This, that's I mean, price it's is not right. the best and thing ever, but it worked. Just fine, right? Everything yeah. worked. Held everything. Totally did. It. The Look, one thing totally the RDB Look at the snow on Jardine's head. That's just why he's been sitting here. <laughs> what were you saying? The RDB threw like eight pieces of brass in my empty mag uh -huh. pouch. So that downward see. ejection. Yeah, the downward ejection yeah. of the RDB said. That's a good data point for I the can't review. Put my, uh, Look at that. Mag all the way in there. I never would have come up with that scene. I never even thought of that. That's weird, huh? Totally. Yeah. Um, so I still on this side there's a look in the Titan. The old TAC Force cross shot with a Glock. 17 sitting right there so that has the belt loops on it that's what i was talking about see that right there dudes yeah like you care look at all the guns in the back these are all backup guns had something choked but his didn't choke well we put a lot we put a lot in there yeah we did uh we also got some shotgun shooting in yeah that was fun you tried the masada 9 mil yep. we shot the Breda 92 Breda. Yep. and we had some more in plan but honestly it was just too difficult tonight to bring them in it would have made it go till like 11 30 at night yeah it's already what time, Jardine? Quarter after 10. We need to leave. Yeah. Wrapping it up. Last Hello. words, anyone? Um, go out and shoot. Um, you know, talk is cheap on the internet. Get out there it's and true. buy some steel. And I make my own steel targets and go out with my buddies and shoot as much as I can. But um, yeah, this weather and getting out here, you really learn what what works and what doesn't and what your weak link is move to a so. western state wyoming nevada utah arizona montana those are states you can do what we're doing right now yep. go find out some blm land set up your steel target and run and gun and you're, if you're in california get the hell out of there <laughs> if you get tapped hopefully you're ready to go so we hope to see more people out hope to do it again okay so if you do want soldier boy you live in the salt lake area join tmp patreon send me a just a quick message your address when you work uh and your phone number if you see a number that says 801 300 801 300 that's mine Jardine what's yours i'm talking the first six digits only uh 801 864 if you see 801 864 or 801 300 answer that phone call yep. we understand the robo calls are predominant so yeah and it's uh, hard to answer a lot sometimes. of times when uh when i go when i get a voicemail we have to move you to the back of the list because we yeah. got 20, 30 people on the list. So if you see the if you see the number, 801-864, just pick it up. Next time we're gonna be dropping you out of uh, a C-130, isn't it? We're parachuting them in. We're parachuting them in. Yeah. We got to clear with the Utah National Guards. <laughs> <laughs> Signing off. This is Soldier Boy, Snowy, and Cole. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for watching. Nothing Fancy Project over and out. See ya. See ya.